Lately, I've been getting hit with a lot of startup encouragement ads talking about famous entrepreneurs that started from nothing and became, you know, Michael Dell or Mark Zuckerberg or what have you. And I'm going to try to keep this video as non rant as I can, but it might be difficult. I don't even really know how to kind of diagnose this topic. I don't know what to call it. When people talk about startups, how businesses started with nothing and, you know, they were a garage or Apple was started in a garage and Dell was started in a dorm room. I think that's kind of a silly way of looking at entrepreneurial endeavors. All entrepreneurial endeavors start at the bottom. I kind of have an issue with encouraging people to start something because they have a garage or they have a dorm room. So Josiah, why do you even care about this? This this isn't even that big of a deal. Well, it kind of is because I think to be an entrepreneurial person, it takes more than not having a lot of money or not having opportunity or whatever. Take a look at the podcast environment right now. Everyone after COVID decided, oh, I'm gonna start a podcast. And there was this huge spike of people that were like, oh, I can do a podcast, anybody can do a podcast. I guarantee you we're gonna continue to see the decline of podcast longevity. The good and talented podcasters will stick around while the people that did it when they got laid off from their job will move on to other things. Why? Take it from me. I have started three, count them, three unsuccessful podcast ventures. They are very difficult. You have to be a very special person to podcast. Much like podcasting, you have to be a very special person to be an entrepreneur. So don't tell someone, hey, this isn't that hard. Anybody can do it and it started from nothing, just like everybody else. No, entrepreneurial endeavors are really hard. They take a certain type of person. Every day I am challenged with the thought that maybe I'm not that person. And I'm just gonna level with you. I have been doing this for almost two years now, full time, and I still feel like any day now this thing could go under. Yeah, I mean, it's it's normal to say, hey, so you gotta start from somewhere, which I agree with. Really, if you're gonna get into doing your own business or starting something, you have to understand what it takes and if your interests are in the right place. I think a lot of people start their own venture because they wanna get rich or they want to be famous. And this goes into a totally different conversation about what motivates you to do what you do, but really question why you want to do an entrepreneurial effort if you are interested. Why I do it has nothing to do with money and it has everything to do with freedom. I am motivated by myself more than anyone else and a healthy fear of failure really allows for me to do my best work. So if I'm in a very comfortable job, I'm probably not doing my best work. If I could boil this down into a sentence, don't let the glamour of being an entrepreneur mislead you down a path that you didn't want to go down. Michael Dell, Chip Wilson, Justin Kahn, they all have something in common, and it's not that they started something out of their basement. It's the fact that they're some of the smartest people I've ever listened to. They're incredibly in tune with their goals, who they are as a person, and what they want to do with their ventures. That's not honestly something that everybody is born with. I wish I was good at music. I wish I was good at singing. Uh, I, man, I seem to be wanting to be a musician. I really would have probably loved being an actor, but I'm not. I have been gifted with a analytically business-driven mindset where I'm constantly wanting to improve things or improve my own work. While Jossie was started in an apartment with uh, basically nothing, that isn't why it worked. The location had nothing to do with it. I wanted to do this. I got incredibly fortunate and was able to work really, really hard. And no get rich quick scheme helped me do what I'm doing. That's kind of a harsh reality, but I really want it to be used to the positive, which is if you see yourself in other founders, then odds are you're in the right place.